Optimism has real benefits, so much so that some scientists think it should be treated as a public health concern. If you're more of a pessimist though, there are still ways you can switch, switch over. over. It starts with the way you explain things. Volvo believes that to design cars for the future, they must first understand the people who will drive them. So they asked us to help them with an experiment, a choice. One person is confronted with two doors. Behind one is the exit, and what's behind the other is completely unknown. So does an optimistic outlook better prepare you for the future and in fact help you embrace it? In many ways, the science of optimism backs that up. Research shows that optimists not only find jobs faster, they're promoted sooner and 40% more likely to have their loans approved. And it doesn't just help your bottom line, it's better for your life. In a recent study of 70,000 women, researchers found that those who were more optimistic had a lower risk of dying from heart disease and much lower risk of dying from infection. And with all that good health and approved loans, it's perhaps no surprise that optimists are less likely to suffer from anxiety, stress, and depression. There is a genetic component to it. The oxytocin receptor gene, the hormone that makes you want to cuddle, has been found to be correlated to optimism and self-esteem. But there's also a theory that you can choose how optimistic you are. And given what you know so far, it sounds like an easy choice, right? It starts with testing explanatory style. How you rationalize and then explain the good and bad events that happen in your life is one way that psychologists measure outlook. Suppose you're walking down the street and slip on a banana peel. An optimist would attribute his slip to the banana peel itself rather than his clumsiness, where a pessimist would do the opposite. What's more, an optimist would consider this bad luck as temporary, whereas the pessimist believes their clumsiness to be permanent. Finally, an optimist thinks the slip and fall is specific to only that time and place and doesn't think it would happen again, whereas the pessimist is certain he'll continue falling victim to the banana peel. Recognizing and then changing your own explanatory style is, according to some experts, a key way you can actually boost optimism. When you find yourself facing some adverse event, you can actually ID and then dispute your inner voice. Luckily, just because you've been a pessimist in the past doesn't mean you can't be an optimist in the future. Take five minutes of your day and write down all the best case scenarios of your personal and professional life and then imagine them coming true. In two weeks, you should start feeling better about embracing your future. So while it's important to note that being a pessimist is okay too, there are real benefits to optimism.